I am live in Fairlawn from the Exxon Station on uh, Plaza and Fairlawn Avenue, and I'm joined by Officer Michael O'Brien and Officer Lou Vasquez. Lou Vasquez. And why are we here? Because the city, uh, the borough of Fairlawn, um, has taken this opportunity of the holiday season to gather toys for the local community for children that may not have that opportunity to, to get toys uh, this coming year. And so, thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Um, I'd love to hear about what it is that you guys are doing. Okay, so um, in a nutshell, uh, we're called the PBA Toy Drive. Okay. Uh, we've been doing it in Fairlawn for about 12 years. We work in partnership with the uh, Santa Response Team. Santa Response Team is comprised of about 60 to 65 local PBA locals from around Burton County. They've been doing it a total of 30 years, started by a sergeant from Closter PD, uh, Don Nicoletti. He started off with a pickup truck and went around with a couple of guys from Closter PD and asked for donations and started off his pickup truck. Now it's turned into 65 different police departments being involved. Uh, and we've had that. All within Bergen County? All pretty much within Bergen County. Uh, I believe now they have a couple from Rockland County that come down. This closer is where the base is, um, and it's relatively close to that. Um, so I think Rockland is going to get involved too. Anybody who wants to be involved gets involved. Police departments, every year we get more and more. When did this, when did the toy tribe begin? And you had shared with me prior to going on camera that the distribution has begun and you guys are ready in just a few minutes to start distributing um, additional toys, yep. all the toys behind us. Yep. Well, this is just a sample. Uh, this is just a sample of what we've uh, been able to take in. This year we've taken just about three times the amount of toys that we took in last year, which is unbelievable. And um, we attribute that in part uh, to just a general, generous, mm -hmm. kind uh, hearts of the residents of the Borough of Fairlawn and the businesses and the organizations, some of which took it upon themselves to create their own toy drives um, and just do things on their own to help us. Um, and the distribution you said, um, just actually you were sharing with me that there are families that have been pre-selected, folks that have gone through some uh, difficult times. Yep, so we work with um, Liz Twiggs, uh, Nick Magarelli in the borough, and uh, they identify families in need, which they do every single year, and uh, we work with them to give them whatever they need. In fact, Liz and, and Nick are coming with us today to help us pick out toys for all of these different kids that, that need. Um, in addition, we work with churches such as Ben Riper Ellis, St. Leon's Women's Guild did a gigantic, gigantic toy drive for us on their own. Um, and we, uh, I can go on and on. We've had so much help from so many different organizations. Dollar Tree, Maryland Avenue came up, uh, did their own thing, and came up with, uh, I guess, about 15 big bags, and they want to double in size. ShopRite and Sarah Supermarkets donated $2,000. The Fairland PBA donated $2,500. Uh, we've had donations from businesses, Triborough Auto, Dunkin' Donuts, um, uh, a local accountant, um, unbelievable. I have to say, you know, along those lines, it just makes me think, it's heartwarming to know that in this, during this holiday season where, of course, people are going to holiday gatherings and having drinks and parties, mm -hmm. that when you, when you mention children, something occurs. Um, and I shared with you before, you know, I had a small gathering with friends. And I mentioned to them, if you'd like to bring a toy, please do. Yeah, very I didn't nice. have any expectations, mm -hmm. but everybody did. And I thought, I, I, I'm glad that I have this group of friends, mm -hmm. because that they actually did that. And it just, uh, to me, it opened up um, an even bigger uh, perspective and just you know informed me of the, just the hearts that they have. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what... As what would all of you have come to see, mm -hmm. that the community, when it's all said and done, they really do come together. Yeah. Um, I know that he, you played uh, an important role in all of this as well. Please share with me if you can uh, sure. join us a little bit. Sure. Come on in. Yeah, no. Um, no, we don't want oh, you to. Oh, okay. <laughs> we just want to stop and gather here. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, listen, on behalf of uh, Good. our Fairwell TV Local 67, I want to thank everybody that's here that, that gave up their time today to volunteer mm -hmm. uh, to be here today. Um, every single resident um, that came in throughout the last couple of weeks to, to donate these gifts. Uh, it was really nice to see that these families would come out, other families, with their children showing them these, uh, these acts of kindness. And uh, that's amazing because they're teaching the next generation that this, this is a big thing and it does matter. Yeah. Um, you know, from everybody, from you know, Mike touched on all the local businesses. I mean, it's amazing to see all these other organizations, um, churches, synagogues, I mean, you name it, get together, get these toys together, and then um, 
I mean, again, this is just a little bit. Three times the amount this year. Mike did an amazing job. He's our chairman for this, and he blows it out of the water every year. Um, also, I mean, we're standing here in Exxon. Danny Seawall, for the last 12 years, has opened up okay. his doors. Very good. Um, Take literally care. takes Thank a bay, that, that whole day, <laughs> and um, you know makes it his priority um, to, to do this. And, and again, for the children um, and for the less fortunate. And you know he does it because of his heart. You know he has the, the biggest heart in the world. Um, also, other businesses like Triborough. Again, he could he could be working today. You know a lot of people could be other places, but we're here and they're here, and it's amazing. So I can't wait to see the the real magic at the uh, at the closer and uh, that's the, the hospital. So. Thank you so much. And I, I want to um, give recognition where recognition is due. We have a lot of wonderful people behind oh, us yeah. that, wanted, for some reason, want to stay behind us and even behind the camera. <laughs> um, <laughs> just all, all, everyone that helped in some way, shape, or form um, bring this together today. Oh, yeah. No, every single one of these people that are back is unbelievable because they are available for us. They've been dragging gifts down from police headquarters, they've been getting the word out, putting up posters, you know, social media reposts and shares. I mean, I go on and on. Our traffic division, they put a beautiful arrow board out, so 24 hours a day, says PBA Toy Drive, Rabbit and Exxon, park here, and that brought light to people saying, oh, PBA Toy Drive, you know, with everybody's busy lives, it served as a reminder. Make sure we stay on camera. <laughs> it serves as a reminder that every time they come by, oh, I gotta get that gift, you know? Um, and so many businesses, unbelievable. St. Leon's Women's Guild, Wilkes Deli, and they all created their own individual toy drives. The Rail Tavern, uh, Rail Yard Tavern? Rail Yard Tavern. Rail Yard Tavern across the street shows up last night. They did their own toy drive. And, and it, the list goes on and on. If not for these amazing people in back of me helping to coordinate this as a team, coupled with all these beautiful organizations and residents, it's really touching, you know? Especially this year has been unbelievable to watch. People, I was here yesterday during the day, and people were lining up giving gifts. You know, so it's it's just it's nice. You know, people recognize that there's a need and, and step up to the plate. And it's great. Well, I know that you guys need to step up to the plate, uh, get your gas pedal, get rolling here. Put on the gas pedal, yep. and then you have a lot of work to do. Thank we you so do. much to all of you for taking a few minutes out of your morning um, and for helping the community. I really appreciate it. Oh, our pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. For coming. Uh, stay tuned because we now I get to see all of you in action. Yeah, yeah. Let's Thank do it. You. Let's roll. Thank you.